Configurations allow you to represent more than one version of a part within the same file. They allow you to do things such as independently controlling the size of certain features from configuration to configuration, assign different materials to the part from configuration to configuration, and suppress or unsuppress features from the model. The term suppressed means that items are removed from memory and the system treats them as if they do not exist. In this lesson, I'll create several configurations of this part here. I'll create two additional configurations that have different hole spacing between the two smaller holes. I'll also create a configuration that has no holes in the part. The part you see here represents the model in what I am calling its full-size state. In other words, it includes the large center hole and both small holes, and it's also a taller version of the part compared with a couple of the configurations that I'll be creating in just a moment. As you add features to your designs, they appear here in the Feature Manager design tree. Notice at the top there's a tab called the Configuration Manager. You can switch back and forth between the Feature tree and the Configuration Manager at any time. But I'd also like to point out that you can actually split this window to show both the Feature Manager design tree along with the Configuration Manager by moving your cursor to the top of the pane. And when you see the cursor feedback change, you can drag the splitter bar down. With the pane split, you can use the tabs to show the feature tree or configuration manager in either pane. For the sake of clarity, I'll use a single pane and switch back and forth as I make changes. Right now, the configuration manager shows a single default configuration. This exists with any part you create in SOLIDWORKS. To create a new configuration, you can right-click on the part name at the top and select Add Configuration. When I do, a property manager appears. Here I can give the configuration a name. I'll type in Hole Spacing 1. I'll click OK to accept the default options here. And the configuration is added. The new configuration has been made the active configuration, which you can tell by the green check mark, and the other configuration name has been dimmed. Since the default configuration represents the model in its full-size state, I'd like to go ahead and rename it. To do this, I can slowly double-click on it, or if you like hotkeys, F2 is the standard Windows hotkey for renaming items. I'll type in full-size. To toggle between configurations, all you have to do is double-click on them. As I do this, obviously you can see that there are no differences between them since I haven't made any adjustments yet. I'd like to modify the hole spacing one configuration to shorten the height between the small holes in the bracket. So I will double click on it to make it the active configuration. With the configuration active, I'll switch back over to the feature tree. Since this is the shortened hole height version of the part, I'd like to change the dimension between the two holes. To do this, I can double click on the face of the part to show the dimensions double-click on the height dimension between the holes, and I'll change the value to 115 millimeters. Before I click the green check, notice that there is a drop-down arrow on the right side of the spin box. Clicking on this arrow allows me to specify which configurations will be affected by the dimension change. I only want this change to affect the configuration hole spacing one. So I'll choose the option this configuration so that the dimension change only applies to configuration hole spacing one. Now I'll click the green check to complete the dimension change and rebuild the part to incorporate the changes. At this point, I'll switch back over to the configuration manager tab to see what we have. If I double click on the full size configuration, you can see the hole spacing remain at its original length. And if I double click again on hole spacing one, the height between the holes decreases. Next, I'd like to create a couple more configurations that represent the bracket with an even shorter distance between the holes, along with a version of the part having no holes. I could follow the same process I showed you a moment ago by right clicking on the part name at the top to add a new configuration, but instead let me show you a shortcut. SOLIDWORKS lets you copy and paste existing configurations. This will save a couple of steps for these short versions, since I already have configurations that exist showing the full size and shortened states. To do this, you can simply click on the configuration that you wish to copy to select it, full size in this case. 
and go to the drop down menu under edit and here you can see the copy and paste tools if you like shortcuts control c and control v work just as you would expect in other windows applications i'll use the hotkeys control c and control v and right away you can see a copy of the full size configuration i'll go ahead and rename this by slow clicking on it and i'll type in whole spacing 2 i'll repeat this process but this time i'll select the whole spacing 1 configuration press control c and control v and i will rename this configuration to no holes with all four of the configurations added let's take a moment to click through them right now you can see that the full size and whole spacing 2 configurations appear identical and the whole spacing 1 and no holes configurations look the same as one another next i'll update the height between the two holes of the whole spacing 2 configuration i'll double click on the configuration to enable it double click on the front face of the part edit the 130 millimeter dimension change it to 105 millimeters apply this change to only this configuration and click the green check now i'll rebuild the part to see the changes and i'll compare this to hole spacing one you can see that this configuration is even shorter than the first two configurations but how do i modify the no holes configuration to remove the holes in only that configuration to remove the holes from the part i'll need to suppress the cutouts in only the no holes configuration i'll activate the no holes configuration switch back to the feature manager design tree by clicking on the tab and then i'll click on the feature holes and select suppress in the menu now the holes no longer appear in the part and if i switch over to the configurations tab and activate the other configurations i can see that the holes are only suppressed in the no holes configuration just as a side note earlier you saw how features could be suppressed and unsuppressed based on the active configuration I was in when making the changes, but I'd like you to be aware that the suppression of features can also be specified for specific configurations, just like you saw here with a dimensional change. To do this, I'll switch back to the Feature Manager Design Tree tab, right-click on the feature Holes, and select the option Configure Feature from the right-click menu. The Modify Configurations dialog box appears which shows all of the configurations currently existing in the part. There's also a suppress column with checkboxes for each configuration. If I want to suppress the holes in the configurations hole spacing two and no holes, all I have to do is check the box for each configuration and click the OK button to complete the feature suppression. Now I can see that the holes are suppressed in the part. And if I switch back to the configurations tab, and click on the other configurations listed in the part, I can see that the holes remain unsuppressed in the other configurations. I'll go ahead and unsuppress the holes for the hole spacing two configurations. Let's go ahead and switch back over to the Configuration Manager tab to take a look at what I've done. Here you can see the full size bracket, the hole spacing one configuration with a 115 millimeter dimension between the holes, the hole spacing 2 configuration with a 105 millimeter dimension between the holes and the no holes configuration that has the holes suppressed.